Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is EverQuest Project 1999. And today we are on the green server on the level 60 Necromancer. Continuing our uh, Exploring Valia series. Um, last time, uh, the last thing you heard from me was probably me cursing the game and screaming because I died in the Tower of Frozen Shadow. That's where we're going back to get some revenge, or at least try to. And the problem with that is I'm very close to losing my level, level 60. So this is going to be very butt-clenching, you know. It's going to be, I'm going to have a tight booty. It's going to be very nerve-wracking. So, yeah, this should be exciting. We got to the fourth floor. Okay, so just to go over what happened last time. We were on the third floor. We were looking for the key. It was taking forever. There was a couple people there. I only had so much time that day, right? And it was taking forever and ever and ever and ever. Like, I, I started with an, I had like an hour and a half or something, and I was like, okay, that should be enough time. I can clear the floor like three times and get the key and go up to the fourth floor. We can look at it at least. It took forever. Like, we, it took four or five clears instead of like three. Other people were there, which ended up being a good thing and not a bad thing. But um, I get to the fourth floor. I get the key. We hit the mirror. I have no idea that the fourth floor is the hardest floor in the tower, supposedly. Just by the way. I talked to, uh, I got a corpse summon too, by the way, so I have my stuff, if you were wondering. Uh, Blimp Force, shout out to Blimp Force. Uh, was a 57 Necro, just happened to be there. I took like a day off after I died, I left my body up there on the fourth floor, like, oh, I'll figure it out. I'll go get summon corpse, I'll go get some, some jade coffins. I'll figure it out. I'll, get, I'll summon my corpse. Like, at first, I was freaking out. I had no idea what I was going to do. But after I thought about it for a minute, I'm like, okay, this isn't as bad as I'm making it out to be. Um, we can summon my corpse. And I thought I'd had to buy the summon corpse spell, but I already had it. The only one I don't have is conjure corpse. So I still have to buy those giant coffins that take up a whole slot, and they're heavy and, and whatnot. And I put them in the bank. The only thing I don't know is like where a bank is that's going to be near the Tower of Frozen Shadow. So I'm going to gate to uh, Iceclad here, get closer to the tower. I was in Nariak buying the, the Jade Coffins. If you need a Jade Coffin, Nariak's the place to be. Um, so I put them in the bank, and we have the keys back. We have our stuff back. We got our corpse summoned by Blimp Force, who just happened to be there. I, I logged in. I ran my shaman to the tunnel. I was, I was thinking I needed to buy the spell. And then I was like, hey, let me check my Necro and see if I have the spell. And I actually had Summon Corpse. Not the good one, but the first one. I say, like, okay, well, at least I can do it myself next time. But I was, like, looking up Necros, and there happened to be one in Iceclad or in the Tower of Frozen Shadow. It was Blimp Force, and I said, hey, can you summon my corpse for me? He's like, sure. And uh, he went ahead and did it, and he said, hey, you're giving me way too much plat here. Because I was giving him, like, 200, 300 plat for summoning my corpse because I was feeling, like, you know, super relieved that I got, got all my stuff back. Come to, you know, come to find out he probably had Conjure Corpse where the, the coffins only cost, like, 50 plat or something. And I ended up giving him, like, 200. But, hey, he, he deserves to make some money off of that. I mean, it's not every day a Necro gets to make some money off a spell, off a summon corpse. So, yeah. Now I have that. If it happens again, it's going to suck because I'm going to lose my level. But... We can at least get my body back a little bit easier, kinda. Because I'll have to go find a bank. I'm not sure. You guys let me know in the comments. Where's the, the closest bank to the Tower of Frozen Shadow if I happen to die? Because this is where I'm bound, right here. Turn this down a little bit, like always. And we're going to head towards this tower. I don't know. I'm probably going to go inside and then readjust my spells here. Definitely want to hit my boots before I do that. But yeah, entering the fourth floor is really hard. It's just an unknown thing, and I didn't know that. Um, you get jumped immediately by two zombies, and then for me, the key holder was right there, and a Shadow Knight that harm touches, and another ooze. So if you haven't seen that video, the last video I did, where I die on the fourth floor... Uh, like, as soon as... Uh, not as soon as I zoned in. I mean, I fought a bunch of them off. There was, like, three or four of them laying on the ground by the time I died. But, um... I took it a little bit lightly. I got greedy. And I didn't have a lot of time that day. So I was trying to get you guys something exciting. 
after the third floor clears and not getting it as soon as I thought I would. We got to the fourth floor and I was kind of rushing, but it's also hard, so I'm not saying I'm going to just beat the crap out of it this time. I know that it's hard, and I'm going to try to do better this time. So what we got to do is we got to make our way up to the fourth floor by using our keys. I'll probably just IV you and get as far as I can like that. I guess my plan is going to be... There's a couple ways we could do this. Um, One thing I did read, I was reading up on it a little bit. They said that you can feign death in front of the mirror. Tell your... You can feign death in front of the mirror and then hit the mirror with the key and your pet will, will not cause a train, supposedly. Or you can... Tell your pet to guard. Still, your, your pet will still be on the third floor guarding. You go through the mirror, and then you summon your pet. Which I think, do I have that spell? We'll have to see. I'm still invisible. Okay. Let's check it out. Do I have summon? I should. Like summon your pet. We should have that somewhere. Reclaim energy... Hmm. I don't know what it's called. But is it summon dead? I'll have to look it up once we get there. I mean it's gotta be summon dead, huh? But that could be a, a, a pet spell. Hmm. Well I probably should have already looked into this. But it's something I just read. So I wasn't... Anyway. I don't know what I'm going to do. I feel like my, my, my plan is to IV you, hit the mirror, that way the zombies won't see me. Maybe hit the door with the frosty key, like keep it out. Go towards the exit, and if I run into trouble, I can just leave. And if I don't run into trouble, that can be where I start and pull to and all that. That's my plan, but there's many ways you could do it, supposedly. Just don't do it the way I did it. All right, I need IVU. Let's start making our way to the... I got Demi Lynch. Let's see what I got on. I got Paralyzing Earth, Vexing Mordania, Splurt, Deflux, Gather Shadows. I probably need IVU. So our goal in this one, we're, we, we have the key to the fourth floor. So we're going to explore the fourth floor of Tower of Frozen Shadow, which is supposedly the hardest floor According to Blimp Force, the level 57 Necro that uh, summoned my corpse. My body should still be sitting here. Yep, see? It's got like a... It's probably too late. I'll just grab this. Get rid of that corpse there so nobody has to look at it. That ugly corpse. All right, let's IVU. you. Let's get our key out to the second floor, which is what... I emptied out my inventory. Nah, crap. Alright, here we go. So what's the first key? I think it's the crystal key. Let's get that out, get it ready. Oh, I'm not IVU'd anymore. There's these gnolls in here. Are they undead? I guess we'll see. I know these guys are. I should probably kill these guys. They drop awesome scythes. Those scythes were like 12 plat. All right, don't fall in the middle. All right, which way was it? All right, here we are on the second floor. Librarian. The library. I'm still IVU'd. Let's see how many people are in here. Nobody, just me. All right, now we need the three-toothed key. And this one's pretty easy. They're definitely all undead on the second floor. You don't have to worry about that. I think it's just back here, huh? Okay. So that now we're on the third floor. Let's put our key away. Now we got the frosty key. This floor is a little bit different. And that I think it has things that aren't undead. 
like I said, for the third floor, if you go to the left, there's skeletons, they will aggro. If you go to the right, you have a little bit more time to figure things out. Like, there's an armor shadow, but there's nothing like... Oh, crap. Yep. Armored shadow. Hold on a sec. Let's put this key away. Let's root him. Let's get this guy dead. Splurt him. We're not messing around. Game's lagging. Vexing. And we should be okay to sit. I think he's the only guy in this hallway. Sometimes if he hits you more near that opening right there, you'll get the uh, gnolls too. But for me right now, I think we're good. He's splurted. He's vexing. But yeah, I guess what I'm going to do is IVU. Click the mirror. Hope that there's not an ooh standing right there that sees me immediately. And if it does, I'll hightail it to the door. Use the key. Go through... Hopefully that Shadow Knight's just not sitting there again, too. There's a lot of stuff that could happen. Onomatopoeia could be there. The one that stunned you for a million is the Undercon that killed me last time. Two zombies can definitely be there. Two zombies. Um, They're usually there. Then that Slime was there. And then that, that Shadow Knight. And that's like the least. That's what I saw. There could probably be more. This crystallized uh, shadow is, is pretty good. If you see it, you should grab it and stack it up. I got a decent amount of plat off that, I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's IV you again. Yeah, my goal is to go through the exit door and head towards that mirror. So I have an escape route if I need it. Instead of just standing there like a bozo. It's this one, huh? There's a secret wall right here, by the way. Get there a little faster. Alright, here we are. What are we going to do? I got Shield of the Magi on. I got Paralyzing Earth. Vexing Mordania. Splurt. Deflux. Invis vs. Undead. Gate. Am I going to use Demi Lich? I definitely need Feign Death. I'm going to take this off. Maybe put on... First thing... But yeah, if you want, if you had your pet out right now, you could tell it to guard. And then you click the mirror. And then you go through the mirror. And once you get everything settled down in there, you could uh, summon your pet. Or you could just summon it immediately. I don't know. But that's a way to make sure your pet doesn't bring a train. Because if you just go through the mirror with your pet, it's going to gather up everything. Like it'll, we've seen it happen before on the other floors. Or you can feign death, use the key on the mirror, and supposedly your pet just comes right there. I don't know, though. But I got a different idea. I'm going to do IVU, hope it's just zombies, go through the door, run towards the exit, have my key out the whole time in case I got to click on that mirror. Hopefully Amanapia isn't there. Hopefully, what, the worst thing that could happen, there's a slime. It sees through my Invis vs. Undead. Onomatopoeia is right there, too. So as soon as I appear, it hits me with the stun. And I'm going to just have to be jamming on that feigned death and hope that it works. And then we're going to be stuck like we were last time. So I'm hoping the slime isn't just sitting there as we come through. It wasn't last time. It took a second to get there. It wasn't just right there, but it could be. <sighs> and we could lose our level. This is, this is nuts. All right, I'm going to put on mana skin. Another buff. That'll give me a little bit of a buffer. All right, I think instead I'm gonna put on a uh, rest of the dead. Rest the dead. Wherever it is, I think it's pretty far back. There it is. All right, so I got Gate, I got Feign Death, I got Root, I got IVU. Let's get this key out. It is the Frosty Key. I'm having that feeling, man. I start a video, and something goes bad immediately, and then the video gets ruined. 
<sighs> hope not. Alright, let's go through. I mean, I should probably get full mana. I should probably sit here and get full mana. I'll pause. Get full mana. Alright, we're about ready to go in here, y'all. Am I gonna die? Am I gonna make it? Is it gonna be okay? Is it gonna be somewhere in the middle? We're about to see. It all depends what is on the other side of this mirror. Is there a slime or not? I think the slime is the only thing that's not undead. It's just a mixture. It sucks when there's a mixture. You can't... I mean, that's cool. I like it, because it makes it harder. But uh, after just dying like that and freaking out a little bit, I'd rather have a, a nice little easy time. But um, let's make sure we IVU again. Got full mana, we got mana shield. What are we gonna do if on a let's what are we gonna do if there's a slime there that sees me? If I see a slime, I'm gonna feign death immediately. How about that? Okay, no slime. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Let's go. Hopefully nothing else saw us. going on hello did it work I think it worked all right so that's my strat I didn't see that strat on there anywhere but that's like the bonehead semi cool strat let's go in there that's the exit right to your right feign death I know if you I know not everybody can feign death but hey if you're a shadow knight a monk a necro. Do something like that. So now that's where that slime is. We can kill that thing, get it out of the way. I'm going to get my pet out. I think I'm going to have it guard. I'm going to pull to this little hallway. I'm going to start clearing stuff out. I almost want to keep this key out. Like, why would you not? I guess because you could throw it on the ground or something. All right, let's change our view. Uh, I think we're okay. As long as there's no weird pathing where they can see through the wall. By the way, a shadow... Somebody's texting me. A shadow, I think, is an invisible man. So I don't know how that's going to work. All right, I need to turn my phone down. All right, I'm just kind of hesitating here. Okay, let's see. Alright, we need our pet. Like, I want this key, but I don't want to, like... I wonder if I can put it, like, right here. Nope. I'd have to put it in the inventory. What inventory slot is that? I don't know if that would work anyway. Maybe put it here so it's easier to get. I don't know. I could keep it out, but I'm afraid I'm going to throw it on the ground. Can you even throw it on the ground? Looks like you can't. So why would you not keep it out? I'm clicking right now. I'm just going to keep this key out. If I run into trouble... It would suck to lose it, but I'm clicking and it's not going anywhere. It's not asking me to drop it because it's no drop. So why would you not keep this key out? Alright, let's kill this freaking thing. Splurt. Vexing. Okay. I need my pet. I need Lich, too. Like, I don't have enough room. Oh, it won't let me take a spell if I got the key out. Crap. Let's put Demi Lich out. Oozing flesh should just die. We talked a little bit about floor four in our last video, but I'll probably bring it up again. Get our pet. Got the oozing flesh. Cool, it died in one little round of dots. No big deal. 
root rotted it. I wonder if that's the strat. Maybe I should just go around root rotting things. I'll tell my pet to guard, like, way back here, maybe. I don't know. I still want him to come if I get attacked. Alright, let's summon the pet. Let's get our view in the back. Back to the right orientation. There we go. Here comes the pet. I hope it's a good one. I'm losing my journeyman boots. Poopy. But now we can always run to this mirror if we have trouble. And that's what I gotta keep drill into my brain. Just run, bro. Just run. We don't want to die up here. Just run. You know, feign death if you can, but run if you can't. I can't loot stuff with the key out either. Hmm. Sure there's an easier way, y'all, but let's have him guard here. Um, let's put on his Augment Death. I feel like I don't have enough spell slots. That's what I want to do here. So I kind of want Dooming Darkness out, too. Just in case they run. Waiting on this Augment Death. I should probably be sitting while I wait. Losing a bunch of health. Can I grab the key from here? Ooh, that's cool. I'll grab it from there. Alright, here we go. Augment death. And then I'm going to hurry up and go get something to kill. Rest the dead right here. <laughs> we got a... Excellent saber-toothed tiger hide. Oh, nice. Actually, I'm going to have the pet follow me a little bit. Follow... Man, I wish I had journeyman boots on. Man, I'm losing too much health. Let's take a lich off. Huh. We're we gonna have him guard. I want him back. Okay, that's good, that's good. Stay there. Probably too close. Right, we got our key. I hate that I don't have... I got my mana shield, though. I'm gonna get it as far away as I can. Oh, wow. I don't know what's going on here. Pet's looking okay. I think we just got the one mummy. Do vexing. Got it. I right, need Demi Lich back out. Come on. Ah, the dumb key. Okay, cool. So one mummy down, one slime down. We had that last time. Here, follow me a little bit. Gotta bring him back a little bit. Right, right there. Okay, now sit. He's probably got rabies. All right, I want a Demi Lich. It's lagging a little bit. Loot the corpse. Get our key out. All right, should be another mummy. Yep, here he comes. That's probably okay. Let's tell him to back up, though. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, we'll just do this again. And I'm going to sit this time. All right, two mummies and a ooze cleared out. Pet's not looking so hot. It's definitely harder up here. I heard this is the best floor for loot, too. Of course, we're going to go to the 5th, 6th, 7th floor. But um, if this is the hardest floor and it has the best loot... I mean, don't stop watching or anything, but you've never seen those floors up there. All right, you sit down, buddy. You're losing too much HP too fast. All right, so I got rest of the dead in case we encounter multiple undead. I got splurred if we need to burn something down quick, like the boss. I should have... Exile on dead on. I just don't know where to fit it in. 
It's like you want to have gate up just in case like your pet gets swarmed and you're in a bad spot and you don't want to feign death in that spot. I don't know. Maybe I could take gate off. That makes me nervous though. I don't know. Am I ever going to have the chance to gate? Hmm. I think I'm going to be a bonehead. Like, what else would y'all take off? I mean, I got Root on, which I, I do need sometimes to... Like, crowd control. Alright, keep sitting there, buddy. Make sure you're guarding. Let's grab this loot. Some bandages. Let's grab our key. I still haven't been hit, I don't think. I mean, I've been hit, but not hard. Now, last time, Onomatopoeia was here. Kind of want to, like, just look out the door for a sec. Kind of scary. And that Shadow Knight was right here, too. I really don't want to be taking a harm touch. That mana shield should eat it up. Anybody coming? Let's take off Lich. Getting a level, little bit braver. Man, if we got to hightail it for that exit. I don't know if we're going to make it without Journeyman boots on. Okay, I wonder if somebody's been up here and killed it. It's been like a whole week. I know people don't come in here very often, but... Hmm. Alright, I'm about to go through and... See what I can see. Now, there's some um pitfalls up here. What's this? Ah, some more corpses. There's some pitfalls. We should probably look at the map first. Let's go back. I'll get some of my HP back while we sit. Let's look at the map real quick. I hear somebody walking, but they probably can't see me. Alright, so here is the wiki. We're on the fourth floor. Supposedly the hardest floor. Um... I've already read this to y'all before. You gotta find Am Amana Thepna, who will then spawn Kara Omika. Amana Thepna spawn like is triggered the same way you triggered the things on the on the first, second, and third floor. But then after you kill that, you gotta kill this one, and they both have like this crazy stun and their undercons. Um, so yeah, let's look at the uh, map. Wish I could zoom in for you. You zoom in. Nope. Anyway, okay, so we're like right here. Hopefully y'all can see that. How do I get rid of this? Did not want to do that. Go away. I'm stupid. Anyway, we're right we're like right here. So the first pitfall is way over here. I think I'm just going to take a right, do right wall strats, that way we don't hit any pitfalls. So if you fall in a pit, you have to hit a lantern, and it brings you back to here. We really need to clear this area out, though. So, I know we'd have to pass two, two left hands before we get to the pit. Alright, so let's go check it out. I want to clear this whole front area. Alright, there's a, fl a flesh. Let's hit it with vexing. Hopefully nothing else comes. Got it? Get a pet. There we go. Demi Lich. 
that's it. So we're just gonna play it really careful. If you ever seen me play um, lower gook, you know I rest the dead. I'm pulling one thing at a time. But we're also we were doing a bunch of named like assassin supplier, like assassin supplier, executioner, sage, savant, etc. Ritualist. That's what I'm looking to do here. I'm glad I killed that oozing flesh because. If we have to hit the lantern and come back to the front, we don't want anything jumping us immediately. So what happens if you hit the lantern with your pet out? Is that going to pull the whole zone? And what's the zone timer? I think it's like 20 minutes. My pet guarding. All right, I'm so sorry this is slow, but I died last time, and I'm not trying to die again. Right, here's the first left hand. There's something back there. A shadow. Oh, it's not undead. Hmm. Hmm. What's this way? Nothing so far. We're gonna take rights. So making sure nothing's near the entrance. Hmm. Huh? What's going on? Shadow must attack me. Uh, yes I can. He's right there. Do I got the wrong one on? Yep. Alright, let's do vexing. Got it. Demi Lich. I think I don't have that on, do I? I don't know. Okay. So that wasn't the one. Stuff just keeps pathing through this front area. It's crazy. Keeps coming. You gotta be careful. That's doing okay. I don't know. Should I have him follow me? I can't get to the Shadow Man's corpse. Oh, there it is. Hum. I don't know, y'all. I really want to pull to this, but it's probably not going to be doable. The pet follows me. We're going to get more aggro. All right, follow me a little bit. Guard right there. Be closer, but not too close. Let's go this way. That's why I kind of want Dooming Darkness. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I'll have my pet follow me now. Oh, there's a mummy. Come and get it. It's another thing that's getting close to the zone. That's crazy. Now let's bang him down, because I don't want to mess too much with my pet out here. <laughs> we'll just have him follow. Come here. Where are you going? Thank you. And guard right there. Alright, let's get a... Oh, what? Another freaking mummy. Where are they coming from? Do vexing again. Just to keep up with this lich. I feel like we need to kill stuff quick, so I'm going to exile too. I do not want to be sitting here waiting for the next thing. The more crap we kill, the less stuff there is. Alright, let's get out of here, buddy. Follow. 
All right, that front area should be clear now. I mean, how many things have I killed? All right, you stay right here. Actually, let's let's chill for a sec. You sit too. We're gonna chill for a second. Down the right hallway. Kind of want to look at my map again, but I won't bring it up on the screen. Just bear with me. All right, I turned right immediately. We're heading around that. Okay, there's a little right-hand turn. That's a dead end. We're heading towards this little dead end, I think. I think this right is a dead end. My computer's lagging. That'd be great. Got Demi Lich on. Okay, and after we do that dead end, we're going to keep... We're going to hold to the right wall and just keep going that way and there's no pitfalls. And we can find the mirror back there. We'll go to the 7 on the map, which is where Kara Omika spawns. So once you kill Anamanapepadepadupadepadepa, if you find yourself back at the entrance or the exit, you can just do right wall strats to get to the, the room with Kara Omika. I'm guessing. I'm just taking a little, little rest here. All right, I think that's good enough. Let's get our key back out. And we're going to go right wall. Let's tell him to guard. This should be a dead end, but there's probably something back here. Yep. What is that? An ancient mummy. Let's just have our pet attack it. All right. Do vexing. There should be nothing else back here, so we should be okay. All right, got that, and we'll sit. Let the pet do his work. Pretty sure nothing will come back here. This is probably a nice little safe spot now. Could probably pull back to here now. Might even have him guard around the corner of the dead end. Fourth floor of Tower of Frozen Shadow. It's really hard to break into, and it's really hard to break out of. But in between, it's still kind of hard. <laughs> A lot of crap in here. Are you following me? Come on. You come here. You stay around this corner, okay? You guard right here so nobody can see you. I'm going to go this way. We're going to keep taking right wall strats. Okay, a shadow. But what else is over there? You never know. Hmm. Shadow's casting a spell. Hmm. What if there's something else over there? You never know. Could root the shadow. Let's see what else comes. <laughs> Anybody else there? Hmm, I don't think so. Splurt it. <laughs> Vexing. He tried to hit me. He's trying to root me. He got me. It's okay, though. I'm actually going to sit down. And he's got Splurt and Vexing on him. If something else joins in, my pet should come running. I'm hoping the shadow dies before something else jumps in, though. Aw, oh, of course. Come on. Let's root this. I'm no longer rooted. And let's do a deflux. That should be fine. Maybe another one. Since we got two on us. Blow some mana. Sometimes I'm, I'll be trying to conserve mana. When I should be... Ooh, look! Tumultuous Strength. Yeah, there's spells in here, too. Shadow died. Awesome. Let's make sure there's nothing back this way.
Okay. So nothing by the entrance. Let's go find our pet. Should be right here, yep. Alright, let's keep going. Let's go to first person. Checking my stream, make sure everything's going okay. Why'd I do that? All right, I think we're good. Shadow's corpse. Then there's a left-hand turn. I don't see anything, but would something aggro my pit? Nothing that way. Nothing that way. All right, let's go this way. And right, we got another shadow. Hmm. Let's have our pet follow us. Wonder if I need to aug him again yet. It's like just a shadow. Get in there. All vexing, and then I'll sit. Maybe even memorize, uh, Aug. Make sure he's all Augged up. Let's tell him to guard. Looks like he's doing okay. down before you cast that. There you go. Alright, now, sit, I guess. Making our way through. Making our way downtown. I'm gonna sit till this aug comes up. Okay. Aug our pit, just to make sure. It lasts quite a while, but I just like to redo it. Okay. You guard here. We got a spell. That's pretty cool. It's a bone up there, but it's nothing. Another shadow. But there's like... You can't really see what's up there. Let's do this again. Okay, nothing came. Get him nice and dotted up. Did I lose my mana shield? I might put that back on after this fight. All right, let's get around the corner, like behind our pit. Sit down. Pet's looking at something. Hopefully nothing's coming. Imagine that Shadow Knight just wanders into this hallway. Alright, I'm going to take this off, put on Mana Shield. And that Shadow Man should just die. But you never know, last time a ooze came. Mana Shield does cost a parry dot, I think, and so does my pet. So they are expensive, but it's worth it. When you're in a place where you could die. Alright, I'm going to sit back down. Let's tell him to follow a little bit. Good at, like, this bone. <clears throat> you guard. I'm going to sit. I think the Shadow Man died. Let's get some mana back. We should be coming upon this, the, the main room where the mirror is. There should be some coffins in there. There's probably some enemies in there. We could clear them out that way when we actually do get... And uh, by the way, uh, Amana, Pana, Thea, Pia, Chia, Pia, Dia could spawn any time we kill something. So, I gotta keep that in mind too. I haven't been thinking about it. Like, I killed that Shadow Man. Amana, Pana, Thea could be standing right there. But no. Are you guarding? Let's get our key out just in case, even though we're really far from it. Nah, let's not. Okay, there was nothing there. Okay. 
Killing some shadows. Being very careful, because I don't want to die. Okay, another shadow. All right, you follow me. Guard, like, right here. Once again, I don't know what's up there. It's a shadow. I can't rest him, because he's not undead for some reason. So I'll root. <laughs> Splurt. I think he rooted me. Vexing would be great. All right, he resisted. One thing I was asking one, uh, Faceless One, my buddy, was um, when you're feigned death, can you resist? Don't do that. Come here. You sit. I want you aggroing more stuff. Just let him rot. When you're feigned death, can you resist? Does anybody know? Because I think it's crazy that a level 40-something... Was able to hit me so hard and easy. We were feigned death. Remember, if you haven't seen the last video, you got to watch it because it was crazy. Especially at the end. But I was feigned death and it seemed like I, I had it. And there was no way for me to really know unless I was super smart and like turned around and conned them or something. I don't know. But as I was turning the camera to try to do something like that, I saw a monathana pana pia pa pia pa pia and... He was doing nothing. He was just standing there. So it seemed like my, my feigned death worked. Then all of a sudden, he starts casting. I thought maybe he's buffing himself. Nope. He was destroying me. Killing me. And of course, I didn't resist. If I had resisted, he was rooted. I could have sit, re -feigned death. But no. Would I have been able to do all that? I don't know. Like, I get kind of panicky when I'm about to die. I just start jamming on that feigned death button. Alright, you're guarding... Let's get the first person. Killed a shadow. We got a left and a right. I mean, we're doing right wall strike. There's another one. It didn't even come. What about this way? Oh, something. We got two things. What can I do here? A shadow. And a shadow. Uh oh. Only just fighting the one for now. Yeah, go get him now. Alright, I just wanted to make sure we didn't get two. Playing it super safe. Got my vexing off, I'm gonna sit. That was cool. Those shadows must be a little bit lower level because he aggroed me. My pet was kind of standing almost right there. And we still didn't get two of them. I'll probably just send my pet in on this next one. It's hard to find the corpses. There it is. Ooh. Some more dust? Dang, we're 48 minutes in already? Jeez. Still got that other shadow. What's this way? Nothing, a dead end. Is this a dead end too? How's that a, How's that possible? Alright, we'll get in there. I'll loot this. I'll stand here. I'll vexing, I guess. I have no target. And I'm lagging. Now that's a lot of lag. Wow, that's a lot of lag. Okay, we're good. Um, let's just deflux. Need some HP. It's faster. Yeah, I got it. Alright, I have no idea where we are. I thought we were heading towards a big room. A big open room. Hmm. Alright, let me check. I'm guessing there must be an invisible wall or something. That's the only thing I could think. 
doesn't look like it should. Yep. A shadow. It saw me. We got two. Alright, I think we're okay. Let me get this shadow. Okay, 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 okay. Get out of range. Vexing. Okay, 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 okay. Sit. Uh, there's two right there. Ooh, what's hitting me? Something hitting me? I think I was just changing. Get Demi Lich. Pet looks okay. Going somewhere, which probably ain't good. What's the other shadow? Potentially. Let's deflux it. And we're lagging again. Alright, it's dead. Sit. Guard. Um. Got that on. We need Demi Lich. Okay, I don't know, y'all. This is getting hairy. Throwing two shadows at me. They were standing right there together, too. It wasn't like, uh... Could do very much. Just some bones on the ground. Okay. Follow me. Did I forget to loot? It's hard to remember to loot these shadows. Alright. Invisible wall. Come here, buddy. Why don't you stay right there and sit? I'm gonna look around this corner. Okay, nothing. Some stairs? Uh-oh. There's the mirror. If we had to, we could run out of here. Or no, we can't, because that's probably the uh, next floor. Can't really see, and I feel like something could see me. Oh, nothing here? Cool. Okay. Alright, follow me. Now I'm nervous that everything's going to re be respawning. Guard. I'm not sure if there's... Yep, a shadow. And another one. Hmm. Alright, you come here. And I'm running out of health. <sighs> Dudes. Well, we're going to look at this whole floor, whether we, um, figure out, you know, whether we find the boss or not, at least you guys are seeing new stuff, and I'm kind of getting my bearings and figuring this out, and I can, um, camp out by the exit instead of at the entrance where everything's crazy, or I can camp out right here, and maybe this is a good spot. I think I'm just going to send my pet in. Vexing. Got that on. We got Demi Lich. Okay. Let's do deflux. Try to knock this guy out of here. Let's do it again. Get him out of here. Okay, you're dead. Another shadow. 
clicking all over the place. stuff sorry if you were hoping I would die I mean it could still happen I guess nope don't do that our pet's good he only lost one bubble against two shadows I hear something walking oh where'd you come from where did this ancient mummy come from what a vexing And we're lagging again. Wonderful. Did I even get it? I think I did. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna sit. Yeah! So this is the this is where you would go once you get the thing to spawn. And he could pop any time out of one of these bodies. So it's pretty exciting. I think we should sit here for a second. I don't know what's up ahead, and let me at least get full mana. Yeah, right here, supposedly Kara Amika will sit in one of these coffins. Okay? And she won't attack you unless you sit in the room with the coffins. So you can initiate the fight. Or is there anything back here? Yep. Wow. There's two again. Alright, I'm gonna let my pet get a little more health. Let him get up to his uh, 80% at least, and then we'll go in. I'm gonna send him in again. Blast one of them down. Yeah, they gotta be respawning by now up front. Well, that's gonna suck. I don't know where I'm gonna go after this. We'll have to look at the map. Alright, buddy. Get in there. Hopefully there's nothing by the mirror. It's vexing. Got him. Just to get some HP back while I have Lich on. And then let's do some deflux to help my pet win. I think these are the last two enemies before the mirror. Alright, get him, buddy. Give me the loot! Give me the loot! Let's do vexing again, just so we have it running after the fight's over. Pet's doing okay. Let's take a seat. Hey, yeah, I guess I just gotta be careful going through here, and... I feel confident if I have my pet out. Like, when we came through the mirror the first time, I didn't even have my pet out. I was getting attacked by two, three, four things. The boss was right there. The the other name, the Shadow Knight, was, was there. Like, it was the worst case scenario last time. I can fight two, three regular enemies, but when the bosses start to add on... The pets sit. And let's pause, and I'll bring up the map. Alright, we should have the map up again. I, I don't know what's up with that sidebar crap. I need to get rid of that somehow. But, yeah, here we are. We... Came in here, we went to the right, went through a door that's locked. You just gotta use the same key that you used to come to the floor. We went all the way through here, we killed one slime. And then we worked our way back, right wall strats, killed a bunch of other things. There was a dead end here with an enemy. We kept taking right wall strats. We went all the way back here. We had to go through a, like, secret wall. Back, 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 back. Now this is the coffin room, seven. Now we're back here. We're, like, up here right now. So the only way we could go is, like, all the way back... And then take another right. And there's a pit right there, so we got to be careful. And then maybe right wall strats again. And then maybe again. And then we're kind of back here. And we'll go explore the other side. But dude, we've been, <laughs> we've been playing for an hour. I want to show you all the whole floor, but... 
It might take a couple videos. I don't know. I'm playing so careful and slow. Oops, I forgot to change it back. Hold on. Alright, she'll be back on the game. We made it to the mirror, but we can't do much with it. Not holding the key. Stuff is gonna start respawning. I guess we just head back. Probably wanna take Lich off. And there's probably not much to worry about for, for right now, but the closer we get back to where we're going to be turning. Oh, there's an ooze already. Stuff just <laughs> roams this entire floor, I swear. There's no way that's a respawn. It's cool that they can drop spells, though. What was that spell we got? Ooh, yuck. Look at all this silver and copper. Alright, it's almost dead. It's tumultuous strength. So that's a 39 shaman spell. I wonder if my shaman needs that. Alright, kill the news. Follow me. We're gonna take the first right we see. Another shadow already. Like, what's the zone timer? Let's hit this guy with some deflux. <laughs> Sit for one sec. Dude could pop at any time. Unless he's roaming the floor. I don't know. Can multiples pop? That's another question I have. Like, if, if Onomatopoeia is, is spawned somewhere on the other side of the entire dungeon, on the left side somewhere, can he then pop out of another corpse, or is it just one instance of him? Like, if he's popped, he can't pop again type stuff. You have to go find him. Shadow, dude, it's re-popping. The whole zone is re-popping. Get in there. That was kind of quick. I did fart around in that casket room for a minute, though. So I just I might as well assume that everything's back up. Ugh. I really want to show you guys some more. It probably looks pretty similar like the other side. This looks kind of like a mirror, almost, which would be appropriate. We gotta find that Shadow Knight dude, though. Maybe somebody killed him and he's not up either. I'm not sure. So many questions. Give me the loot. All right, here's where I'm gonna turn right. Let's make sure there's nothing. Okay, there's something there. He just took off. Hmm. Guess he's far enough away that I don't want to really care. Alright, there's an ancient mummy. Get as far back as we can. Vexing and then run. Can't see it. Ah, uh, I swear I can see that. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, bro? Ancient mummy. Come on, onomatopoeia. That'd be this would be a great time for it to pop. Because we're still kind of near the casket area. Just exile. <laughs> it's 
Some bandages off of a mummy. That makes sense. All right, I'm going to take a right. I guess I'll have my pet follow. Okay, we got a shadow. And nothing else. Okay, get in there, buddy. Deflux. Let's get this thing dead. Afraid something's going to come up behind us. Sit down for a sec. Ugh. At least my pet can take the onomatopoeia. Or my mana shield. Or, you know, the, the SK. On the wiki, it says it does take like three, four floor clears. Right, follow me for now. I feel like you're too close to that. Alright, now you can sit and guard. And I have no idea where we're at. I'm afraid I'm going to fall down in a pit. Somebody's laughing. Hmm. Let me look at the map real quick. Alright, we took a right. Yep. There's a pit right here. There's a pit right here. It's not there. It's right here. You see that? See the square that looks a little different? I don't know why you would even go over there, but that's a pit. So we explored that. So now we can go left up here. Let's see what's there, though. Let me... Alright, so instead of going right, we're going to take a left. And we can keep going right, and we'll be fine until it did end. Okay. Follow me. I'm losing HP. I hear something. Okay, we got a mummy and a shadow. Let's grab the shadow. I think the mummy, like, walked... Walked off. Come on, baby. Don't be casting, Shadow. Let's let the Shadow get over here. Alright, get him. Come on. Don't let me waste my mana shield. Thank you. Alright, Deflux. Bang. I think I'll take the rest of the fight off. Okay, we know we got a mummy over there, too. We're just gonna keep going right, wall strats, as far as we can go. We'll get another tick of mana here. Dang, I'd love to show y'all the whole floor, but I don't know. Ooh, we got gloves. Gnome skin gloves. Those aren't worth, like, a lot. I think I sold some as, like, maybe a plant. Maybe. <sighs> All right, we're good if we keep going right. Oop, there's a mummy. That's, like, the front. Come here. Stay back here, dude. See that corpse? There's the door. There's probably an ooze. Alright, here comes something. Probably just let it see me. Hey! Yeah, let's fight it back here. There you go. Vexing! So we're back to the front again. We're just gonna go a different way this time. He's got some sort of weapon. That's probably a Valium weapon. Those are good, dude. They're like pretty much like fine steel. Just treat it like a fine steel weapon. I would keep it if you get it. If you get a uh, Valium weapon. Definitely worth keeping and, and selling. If you still need plat. I know some of y'all just leave corpses laying... But I still need plat. I 
Let's see. Fading Shadow Rapier. Let's see what that is. 622, 2 HP. Nothing too special. Somebody else is walking. This is that front area where just everything... I hear something. It's a mummy again. Hmm. Is he going to come back? A shadow. Hmm. All right, come on, buddy. Let's go. Hurry up. Come on. This way. Kill the shadow. Ah, oh, there's two of them. I'll probably be okay. I'll help. Let's get out of this mess. All right, kill that. Kill that. Kill that. Thank you. We got a mummy. Okay. I'll vexing and sit. Or maybe I'll exile. My pet will lose too much health. Exile. Hopefully I can see him. He backed up a little bit. Yep. Ass. This is a dead end, too. There we go. Take a seat, buddy. Let me loot. Okay, and we're going to sit, and I'm going to look at the map. Okay, so we took a right. We're in this back corner. Okay, I see. So we could do another right, but there's a uh, pit after you take the right at the T. Let's go check that out. You know, after we do this, we're, we're more than halfway through the dungeon, but still, <laughs> we still got a lot to do. Ah, dude. Alright, you stay there. I'm gonna go look. So we take a right. Okay, here's the T. So one of these is a pit. I think it's that one. You see how the, the, the square's a little bit lighter? And there's... What? I didn't even see that. Just deflux. I didn't even see that shadow. Kind of hard to spot. At least they have the name above them, I guess. But their corpses are hard to loot. They're hard to see. All right, get it dead, bud. Waiting for that thing to spawn. Oh, now we got a mummy. We'll just let him fight it. We go through this wall or something? No. Oh, it was a wall. It was a secret wall there. Hmm. Let's see if I can get vexing off. Could be the ancient mummy from the front. I don't know, though. We're doing okay. Without bosses just roaming the entire floor, we're doing okay. I have no idea where to go, though. And we did that. Supposedly there's like a foss wall or something on the other side of that pit, but I don't really want to jump over it. We'll just keep doing right wall strats. We're going to end up back at the front again. Dude, we might have to do the sec. We might have to do part two of floor four. All right, so here's this. I think, like, right there is a secret wall. Maybe. All right, where's my pet at? Follow me. Oh, there you are. All right, so this is back at the at the front. You see the door? 
We're gonna go down this way. Hopefully nothing attacks us. Shadow. Let's just blast it down. So here's somebody walking. Killing it. So that's all that is. Hmm. Alright, so we're basically back at the front. We did the whole right side. We saw the boss room. So there's the exit door. We will be going that way. I think we're going to go ahead and end the video here, and we'll explore the left side of the fourth floor in the next one. Which, it'll still be dangerous. i got to re-break everything. I, I just, it's a long video. I don't want y'all to have to sit. It's been over an hour already, you know. We're on an hour and 16 right now, so. I've been taking it careful, taking it easy, taking it slow. But we got to see the boss room. We got to clear out the whole right side. I think I am going to call it here. I'm going to go camp out near the exit. And then I'll, we'll work our way back through. We'll do the left side of the zone in the next part. So part five or so, I think. Let me go through here. Let's kill one more thing. Let's kill the... Uh, there's probably a slime in here. Yep, a flesh. Oozing flesh. Kill that, and that'll be it. Probably vexing so I can get my full mana before the next video. One thing I wanted to say is, first of all, shout out to Blimp Force for the summon. Second of all, I'm only playing like once a week, y'all. So if I look like I'm kind of rusty and not as good as I used to be, that's probably why. I'm trying to move right now and it's real distracting and like taking a lot of my time and mental energy. Like I hate where I live right now, it's horrible. And um, once I move and hopefully get into a better place, I'll have more time to make y'all more videos, play the game more, be better at the game, and stuff like that. So just bear with me right now. We just had our seven-year anniversary on Saturday. And um, I plan on uh, doing this for at least a couple more months, you know. At least. We're doing fine. We had our best month ever, like, not last month, but the month before that. And last month was really good, too, so... We did this thing, an After Dark live stream. It was Gems of War, but I was taking a little sippy, you know? Sippy for tippy type of deal. And it was pretty fun. So maybe one day we'll do that for this game, but I don't know. But that's it for this one. I don't want to hold y'all any longer, and I want to be able to show you the entire floor. So and to be able to do that, the left side's probably going to take another 30 to 45 minutes. And I don't want to make a whole two-hour video right now, so... Yeah, we'll do the left side of floor four in the next one. It's still going to be dangerous. We're going to have to re-break in here. We're going to have to re-be careful. But we're going to go left this time, explore that whole left side. Hopefully, you know, once we see every bit of this floor, which is the goal, this is called exploring Valius, so we're exploring. Once we see the whole left side, um, you know, I will just play off recording, get the a monopia to, to spawn and then i'll start recording again just like we've done on the other floors and then we'll go see floor five which is the wedding so it should be pretty cool to look at the wedding is floor five then we got floor six which there's like a 6a and a 6b it's kind of weird and different and then you got the top floor floor seven so that's what you guys got to look forward to i think the whole thing about this video was the suspense as to whether i was going to be able to survive or not and um we did, so we made it. And I'm here sitting by the exit, and nothing should be able to get me next time. And we have a better, or we have a better start this time. We know we'll be okay. We'll be able to summon. We'll be able to like get our bearings before we have to get attacked by two bosses at once. So, like, share, subscribe. Consider joining. It helps a lot to hear. Get about channel comp below. Left side of floor four next time. Get that key. We'll go see floor five. Peace out.